What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. And link will be in the description box below as usual. Go get it. PayPal link there also. They asked me to put it up, so I'll put it up. Thanks, everybody, for supporting. But this video, though, this video is entitled Interracial Flirting. So I'm at the gym about a week ago. One of the homeboys I work out with. He was like, man, you know, he was going to holler at a chick and tall drink of water. He was like, hey, I'm going to have to shoot my shot. It's a white chick, I think. The gym is like multicultural, so it's like everybody. It's in a, it's in a well-off area, so, you know, we was clowning about that too. And he was like, man, where these chicks coming from like this? Back in the day, they wasn't like this. And I was laughing like... I think it's more so where we live at, because if you go into a poor neighborhood, you're not going to see this. And he thought about it. He's like, yeah, but I'm going somewhere with this because where, where I'm at, I'm working out. I'm at a gym in a nice area. And when we were talking, he was like, you know, the sisters really don't uh, holler like that. Sisters don't give choosing signals. But. The other races do a lot of interracial, the other women do a lot of interracial flirting. So for the guys, it's like, what you want us to do? Like, these these women are giving choosing signals. They're making eye contact. They're smiling. Like the day I was doing some sit-ups, I was working out, and, and, and this tall, this tall white chick with a, she was fine. She was fine. Banging body, cute face and everything. She was um, working out and she kept looking back at me. And I'm like, okay, I see what's up. But I'm working out. I'm clowning with other people, talking with other people, men and women. No big deal. And then I'm, I go to other areas. She pops up. Then I, uh, I went to do some sit-ups. She pops up. And then she does this thing. She she basically let me know that she got ass and it and, and it's real and it's soft and it jiggle, basically. And I'm looking like, you know what, <laughs> you know, now in my mind, now, and I thought about it. I was like, I ought to just holler at her. Now I wound up coming to the gym with a with a female, but but we don't, you know, we work out separately. But I'm looking like, all right, let this, let, keep, keep keep it up, keep it up. You know what I'm saying? All right, keep it up, just keep it up. But while I'm doing those sit-ups, it's a Hispanic lady having a conversation with some women. Same area. I'm in the same spot. So the Hispanic lady, you know, I'm minding my business. I'm doing my sit-ups. She's... She's looking and I feel somebody looking at me. I look up. She's staring at me. I'm like, how you doing? Get back to doing that. She, she's talking to her girlfriend. She, she gets on the phone. I'm still doing my sit-ups because I do a bunch of them. I feel somebody staring at me again. I look up. It's her again. It happened again. And again, I'm like, I get it. I get it. I really should shoot my shot. I get it. And then I thought about it, you know, as a brother, like, this is something that's Becoming a norm Because I've talked about this before And it's not just um, It's not just In the gym environment I think it's more so where The area that I live in Because um, A lot of times the people Are at least middle class and up So for the most part It's just it's a middle class To upper middle class area So In this type of area People will figure, okay, you got to have something to be out here. So it's fair game. And the reason I'm talk, calling this interracial flirting is because what I've, what I've seen was women who are single of other groups make it their business to let you know. Women who are single mothers of other groups make it their business to let you know they're single mothers. You know, um... And I'm going to go somewhere that some of y'all ain't going to like. They, now, there's some fine sisters in this gym. 
Okay, fine, like, cool. But but if I, if I want to be a hundred percent honest with them, the the majority of them aren't feminine. Even the fine ones, the majority of them aren't feminine. The, and the girls that hang around them that are non-black become overly aggressive. Even a fine night because it's, it's one chick. <laughs> It's, it's one sister in there And she has a white friend If you see both of them together You be like Now both of these women are parents Both of these women are parents Of multiple children And this the one thing I, I can Give credit to Credence to When it goes to people who Stay in fitness People who make fitness a lifestyle They keep Their bodies Especially the women so you, you're going to see women with amazing bodies after two, three, four, five kids. I'm just going to be honest. But what winds up happening is some of them are a little bit too masculine. You know, I'm not, some people think I'm saying some, because some women are muscular that they're masculine. No, no, no. What I'm saying is there are mus- muscular women who are feminine and muscular women who are masculine. I don't care about if you got muscles or not, to be perfectly honest. I'm good with that, you know. But these women give choosing signals. that, that You know, it, to the point where I've seen brothers have to take a break from working out or go to another gym because it's too, you know, it's too much attention. It becomes an overload. It's like, because now you can't work out because this one woman, if you talk to this one and you're still, you're single, you talk to her, then another one's going to come up, you talk to her, then another one's going to come up, you talk to her. And now you're dating, but, you know, you got too many. And these, and some of these women want to be serious, and some of these women just have a a, a, a um, sexual thing. Of, you know, they just want sex from you, or a sexual fetish, however you want to call it. But you can't really concentrate on doing what you're doing now. Like the roles have started to reverse as far as these guys are getting pursued because of the interracial flirting. And then what you what I see. Um, as a as a black man is the thing that goes on is a lot of us are, seem more naturally muscular, more naturally athletic, more naturally masculine. Um, you see a lot of posturing with other groups of men, and even the men who are, I would say, more um, masculine of other groups, they, they can even spot it in their in, in their group that for the most part Guys are not comfortable in their skin Right So even they like So even some of those guys gravitate To hanging out with the brothers more Because Brothers aren't trying We're not trying to be overly uh, Aggressive Overly um, Assertive We just doing our thing You know more, more so We're more ha- happy going or easy going than anybody else, but people get on our nerves because they get in our space too much. And then it was like, hey, all right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. Like, stop, stop before I hurt you because now you get now you're aggravating. I've been at five different machines. You came to five different machines, walking all around me, hovering. You're getting on my nerves now. If you ain't gonna say something, you need to move around. And we got to check people like that. And, and to a degree, you know, um, the women see that too because, and I think that. Turns them on to us and turns them off of their own group of men. So it, in, it increases the interracial flirting. But this doesn't just go to a gym environment. I, I have the same issue when I go to the grocery store. I have the same issue when I'm, um, if I, if I go to the mall. Because I have the same issue when I'm going out to eat. I have the same issue when I'm, uh, say, going to Walmart or Target or something like that. Same thing over and over and over again. And and I realized because of the, you know, when 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 you're how can I say this, economically in the same bracket as everybody, 
the dating kind of switches up because uh, it's a competition for a lifestyle to, to a degree. And the other thing that, I, that I've noticed is, and maybe some of y'all get what I'm about to say, maybe some of y'all don't, I don't, I don't know, is the women know who like like they they know when a guy is low key but has a lot going on and they know when a guy's um too fl- flashy and has nothing going on so part of the, the the flirting is they they can tell who who's got what and who may have what and who has this that and the third or you know who 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 is able to manage money better or, or have a certain type of lifestyle. They get that. I've noticed that. Like the sisters don't get it as well as these other 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 groups and these other women just want it, want to be um, around men. And to a degree, these men aren't, um, they're flirting to a degree because some of these men aren't taking care of their women like they, like they, like they say that they are. And some of the sisters are starting to notice that in, in, in my area, even in the places I, I, that I frequent, they're realizing that, you know, brothers ain't such a bad, aren't bad after when you get to a certain tax bracket or an age. And the attractive thing is part of the issue too because um, I think our women are very, very, very picky as far as what's attractive. And other women aren't. So even with my own women, like I'm not considered like attractive like that. But with other groups of women, oh, like, I'm like, all right, I get it. I get it. Like, you know, and maybe it's the area thing. Same thing. You know, when I'm working, it's the same thing. And when I'm working, it's kind of overt because I'm in, I'm in my work gear. So they like, they know I have a job and they know what I do for a living so they can like, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and, and the only time it's attractive, I will say this to sisters, if they, if they, if I get off of work and I go somewhere like the grocery store, mall, Target, Walmart, or go pay a bill and I'm in my work gear, then they go, oh, like they, okay. then it's like, oh, he, you kind of, you kind of cute then. And I'm like, okay, you see my job before you see me. I get it. But, this is what I've noticed. So this is just my little spill on what I'm seeing out here in these streets and the racial flirting. We out. Peace.